Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this video. In our previous videos, we have learned about different types of collection framework, interfaces and implemented classes. So basically, with the help of collection, so basically we are able to represent the group of objects as a single entity. But now, now it's time to learn about how we can able to manipulate the data inside the collection framework. When I say manipulate, it means like you are retrieving some data from the collection and you want to do some operation. Let's say you want to make some changes to the elements in, inside the collection, right? So with the help of cursors, we can able to achieve it. So basically we are going to see what is a cursor concept in Java and why do we need it and what are different types of cursors we have in Java. And especially we are going to look in and out of enumeration in detail. If I want to get the elements from the collection one by one, then I have to go for cursor concept. So cursor is nothing but if I want to get the elements one by one from the collection. So what are different types of uh, cursors we have? So basically we have three different types of uh, cursors in Java. One is like enumeration, the iterator and list iterator. So we are going to look into enumeration in detail. So what is enumeration? So enumeration is nothing but it's an interface. By with the help of interface, basically we can able to iterate inside the elements inside the collection and then we can able to manipulate it. So how we can get that uh, enumeration object? Basically, you, let's say if I have a vector, vector v equal to new vector of. So basically this is the way that I can able to create an object for the vector class. And then using this vector v, if I say elements of, so this is going to return the enumeration object. So enumeration is nothing but an interface and we are able to get the reference with the help of v dot elements, like vector dot elements. And with that e, we have a couple of methods. We can, we can able to iterate inside the uh, collection, right? So how we can able to go inside is, we have a method called has more elements of which is like a returning boolean if it returns true it means like still we have more elements so this me this method keep giving like true as long as it reaches the last element inside the collection so that is why i put it in the while statement so while e dot has more elements what does it mean while if there is more elements like as long as it has more elements like inside the collection it will iterate inside this while statement and then it is going to get the next element so i want to get the first element the next element the next element right so for that i need to use e dot next element of so this is going to return the next element so these are the methods that is inside the enumeration interface we can use this to iterate inside the each elements inside the collection and basically this is the introduction java 1.0 but this is the first one they introduced uh, to iterate the elements inside the collection framework but it is not more efficient nowadays we are not using it much because like it is like kind of having some limitations so the limitations is mainly basically we are it is only applicable for legacy classes when i say legacy classes it is kind of like the old classes the initial classes which was introduced in java so basically let's say vector vector is one of the legacy classes nowadays we are no one is using vector classes in real time programming right so basically that is one of the limitation it is applicable only for vector uh, legacy classes and also here you can able to read the elements like you can able to only read the elements from the collection but you cannot able to make any update or you cannot make uh, you cannot remove the elements from the collection framework so this is the like limitations but now i am going to write one of the program with a real time programming let's say student database and how i am going to uh, you know uh, use this enumeration to iterate uh, like all the students records inside the uh, students collection framework today we are going to see what is enumeration in java before we get start so i want to explain about the agenda of this program so basically we are going to see what is a cursor concept in java and what is enumeration and why do we need to use enumeration in java and basically we are going to see in and out of how we can use enumeration and also we are going to see some of the most important methods inside enumeration which is has more elements and also next element and we are going to see with a real time use case so basically i am going to write a program for the student database and retrieve the elements uh, based on that so without any further delay let's get started so here i have written a simple java program basically i am writing a public class uh, enumeration demo inside i have only one method which is a public uh, static void main method so here what i am trying to do is i am going to write a concept of enumeration inside but before that what i am trying to do is i am going to declare a vector which is like a student db which is nothing but vector student db is equal to new vector of so this is just a vector and inside the vector actually i want to add the elements into that student database right so what i am trying to do is let's say i want to add so the student database with a student's name well, let's say student 1 student 2 student 3 like that till let's say 10 people so for that what i'm doing is i'm just simply writing a for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and then student db dot add element 
in the vector we have a method called add element in that i am just uh, adding a string value which is student plus i so here the i is nothing but the value of i will get incremented every time the loop runs so first time it will be 0 1 2 like that right so basically student 0 student 1 like that so let's say i am going to first run this program just to show you guys how it actually works yeah if you guys see here it's actually student 0 student 1 till student 10 sorry student 9 right so basically there are 10 uh, students has been added so now what i'm trying to do is i'm going to write enumeration and for using enumeration we have to first declare the enumeration so the way how you can declare enumeration is enumeration let's say e is equal to the vector right whatever we have the student database right so dot elements if you say elements it is nothing but it is going to turn object of e which is enumeration okay so this is the way how we can declare enumeration once we declare the enumeration we have to use this object right so what are we going to use this object so we are going to use this object to iterate or uh, get the elements inside the collection framework so that is where we are going to use these two method methods so enumeration is let me open this one in the java doc so enumeration is an interface since jdk 1.0 basically it has two methods one is has more elements and the other one is next element so what we are trying to do is first of all we have to check whether this enumeration has elements or not if the animation if this particular object has elements then only we are going to iterate it right so what we are trying to do is while e dot has more elements so has more elements is a method inside this interface uh, enumeration it actually returns a boolean value it returns true if and only if the enumeration object contains at least one element otherwise it will return false whenever it returns false the while loop is not going to execute it will come out of the loop so what i am trying to do is e dot has more elements so it means i am trying to check whether this enumeration has elements or not if it has elements then i am going to say get the next element there is a method called next element so this actually returns the next element of the enumeration so it will uh, give all the elements one by one so next element of if you guys see here okay this is fine but if you guys see here e dot next element right but i want to uh, check what is the value inside this element right what is the ele uh, element inside the enumeration right so what i can do is here e dot next element so the elements what we added here right add element is nothing but student plus i which is nothing but a string so what we have to do is we have to concatenate sorry cast it to string let's say string s is equal to we have to cast that object into string object and then let's say if i want to print it you can see all the elements inside the enumeration yeah here you go yeah so now what i did is like it is printing student 0 1 2 3 till student 9 so these are the elements inside this uh, particular uh, vector but actually enumeration actually basically where we use is let's say you have a student database of uh, like millions of records right in the real time programming if you want to take only one particular value and uh, only one particular record and you want to do some operation on that so in that case when you want to iterate and get the particular element so you can use enumeration and get this particular object so what you can do is if equals of let's say you want to get only string sorry student 7 okay only if it equals student 7 only then print that particular element otherwise we don't want to print it in that case you can do it like this let me go and execute the program yeah if you see here right it actually e dot equals student 7 is not printing it because we don't have a student 7 as such, as such right so sorry it should be s dot equals right because s is a string not e yeah you guys can see here right so here what we're trying to do is we are actually declaring an enumeration with the help of a vector so enumeration e is equal to the student db dot elements which is going to return uh, enumeration object on the enumeration object we are using two methods one is has more elements and the other one is next element so has more elements actually returns a boolean value so if it is true it means like it has some elements if it is if it returns false it means it is not having any elements so basically we are going to iterate into that particular um, enumeration until it has the last element that is why we are using while loop and inside we are checking e, e dot has more elements and then we want to get the elements inside the enumeration one by one right so further we are using next element method 
which is going to return the element and since it is uh, storing the object of type string so that is why i am um, casting into string object and then i am storing it into the string s so then i am just checking if s dot equals student 7 system dot outer print of s so based on the requirement let's say you have requirement to check only if it has any student uh, database with the value um, student 10 so what you can do is you can write the similar program based on your requirement you can change the logic here so s dot equals of student 10 then it will print only students 10 not like all the students so this is how enumeration works so enumeration is nothing but it's uh, one of the cursor in java basically we use it uh, to iterate over uh, inside the elements inside the vector and it is uh, actually present inside uh, java since jdk 1.0 and we are not using enumeration nowadays because we have other cursors uh, we are using it as we are not using much vector and that is the reason like we are not using uh, enumeration but it is very uh, good to know that how enumeration works probably in some of the interviews they might be asking you how enumeration works so you guys uh, i strongly recommend you guys to write the same program in your eclipse and try to see what output you guys are getting it and let me know your comments thanks for watching guys bye bye i hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching i will see you in the next interesting video guys